So hello everyone and welcome back. Today's question that we are going to discuss is of Jam 2021 and which is from the subject ordinary differential equation. Okay, so let's see what the question says. So the question says that y be the solution of this particular differential equation that is 1 plus x y double dash of x plus y dash x minus 1 over 1 plus x y x equals to 0 with the initial conditions that is y at 0 equals to 1 and y dash at 0 equals to 0 and then we have the options on the solution of this differential equation that is y is bounded or uh, lower limit lower bound and y attains its minimum at x equals to 0 and all okay so first we will find the solution of this differential equation and then we'll be discussing the options one by one on the solution of this differential equation okay so we are given with the differential equation that is 1 plus x y double dash of x plus y dash of x minus 1 over 1 plus x y of x equals to 0. Okay, so we'll just rearrange the terms and we'll be getting y double dash of x plus 1 plus x y dash of x minus y of x equals to 0 okay so by seeing this differential equation we can see that this is one of the form of the cauchy euler equation of the form which is of the form p note a plus bx raised to the power n dny by dx n plus p1 a plus bx raised to the power n minus 1 dn minus 1 y over dx n minus 1 and plus do 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 plus p n y equals to 0 okay so this is the one of the form of the cauchy euler equation and we have to solve this differential equation using the method to solve this differential equation okay so as we know that in cauchy euler equation we just put this a plus bx equals to e raised to the power z this is a transformation that we're going to convert the dependent where independent variable x into z that so that the differential equation will be with the constant coefficients from this uh, a plus b x raised to the power n form of coefficients okay so that in that case our z will be log of a plus b x okay so now we'll just find out the value of d2 y by dx square or d2 y, uh, dy by dx in terms of dy by dz and d2 y by dz square and then we'll be converting this differential equation into form uh, into the differential equation in which z will be the independent variable and that differential equation will be with the constant coefficients okay so we are just finding out the value of dy by dx and that will be equals to dy by dz into dz by dx that we can write now okay so here we will have dy by dz and what is dz by dx so from this we have dz by dx equals to 1 over a plus bx into b okay so we'll just put here a b over a plus bx okay so we'll just reshuffle them and we will be getting dy by dx equals to b dy by dz okay let's assume dy by dz is capital d okay so similarly we will be getting d2y by dx square okay so in that case our d2y by dx square will be eventually equals to uh, b uh, similarly in that procedure we will be getting a plus bx square d2y by dx square will be equals to b d d minus 1 okay and so on up to n order derivative we will be getting dx raised to the power f will be equals to b d d minus 1 up to 
d minus n minus 1 okay so if the derivative order is 2 it will be goes 1 less to the order of the derivative that is 1 so in n case that will be up to n minus 1 it is 1 less than the order of the derivative okay so now uh, let's back to our differential equation the given differential equation that is 1 plus x square d2 y by dx square plus 1 plus x dy by dx minus y equals to 0 okay so by comparing this given differential equation to the cauchy euler equation we will be getting that a plus bx equals to this 1 plus x and in that case our a will be 1 and b will be 1 okay so we'll just uh, uh, like repeat this procedure like uh, finding out the value of derivatives of with respect to x into with respect to z na. so we'll be just finding out that so in that case we'll again put or you can put the value of a and b also but let's say we'll put 1 plus x equals to e raised to the power z so in that case our z will be log of 1 plus x okay so our dz by dx will find out and that will be equal to 1 over 1 plus x 1 over 1 plus x okay yeah so now uh, we'll have we're we'll just putting out the value of these differential equations uh, terms that will be 1 plus x square d 2y by dx square will be equals to b b into d into d minus 1 na? so b will be 1 here so 1 into d into d minus 1 and 1 plus x dy by dx will be equals to b into d okay so just putting these values in our given differential equation we will be getting 1 into d minus 1 y plus b d y minus y equals to 0 okay so now we have this differential equation with independent variable z and with the constant coefficients and we know how to find the solution of the constant coefficient differential equation okay so in that case our auxiliary equation will be equals to d square minus d and that is b v r 1 plus d minus 1 into y equals to 0 and that will be implying d square minus 1 equals to 0 that will be implying d equals to plus minus 1 so we have the auxiliary equation rules as plus minus 1. So, our complementary function will be equals to, let's say, uh, c1 e raised to the power z plus c2 e raised to the power minus z, where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants, okay. So, we'll have the complete solution as complementary function only because we have the homogeneous equation. We don't have the non-homogeneous equation, so there will be no particular integral. So, our complete solution in that case uh, will be equals to complementary function that is c1 e raised to the power z plus c2 e raised to power minus z but we have the, the given differential equation in independent variable x so we'll just convert it out and that will be equals to c1 z is log of 1 plus x log of 1 plus x plus c2 e raised to the power minus log of 1 plus x okay so in that case c1 1 plus x plus c2 by 1 plus x okay that will be converting out in this form okay now we are given with the two initial conditions there are y at 0 equals to 1 and y dash at 0 equals to 0 okay so we'll just find out the derivative of this function that will be equals to c1 minus c2 over 1 plus x square okay so we'll be having y at 0 equals to 1 so that will be c1 plus c2 and y dash at 0 is 0 y dash at 0 is 0 so in that case our equation will be c1 minus c2 okay so we have now two equations and two variables so we'll just find out the value of these and that will be c1 will be 1 by 2 and the second equation we're getting c1 equals to c2 so c2 also will be equal to 1 by 2 so by finding the arbitrary constants we'll be getting our solution as y is equal to uh, 1 by 2 1 plus x this so this is our solution now we have find out the solution of the given differential equation and then we'll just solve the options one by one on the solution of this differential equation okay okay 
So here we are given in the option A that y is bounded on zero comma infinity open interval, and the second one is y is bounded on the open minus one close zero interval. So our y is this, okay? So our A option says on zero comma infinity open interval this function y is bounded, but as x tends to infinity this y will tends to infinity so y is not bounded y is not bounded so in that case our option a will be incorrect second was minus 1 open close 0 so in that case also when as x tends to minus 1 the solution will be unbounded because minus 1 here will be unbounded so y will be unbounded so in that case our option b will be incorrect also okay so c was saying that y of x is greater than or equals to 2 on x belongs to uh, minus 1 to infinity i guess open interval no? huh. okay so as you can see this option we can discard from the given statement of the question also like here y at 0 equals to 1 given okay so but 0 belongs to this interval yeah 0 belongs to minus 1 to infinity open interval and at that point it is given 1 but is saying according to this option y of x should be greater than equals to 2 on this interval so it is discarded from here itself so our c option is incorrect because y at 0 is 1 given itself so so it is incorrect okay so our d option is uh, our d option says y attains its minimum on 0 okay so see uh, y attains its minimum so for that we have to find out the critical points and uh, another things also we have like proper method for that also but we can solve this option also by the question itself see y dash at 0 is 0 so 0 will be the critical point for this differential equation okay so for this function actually y and we have to find out the y double dash at 0 no? so 1 plus x square y double dash at 0 uh, the given equation is y double dash at x plus 1 plus x y of x minus y dash minus y of x equals to 0 okay so at 0 this will be equals to 1 this will be y dash at 0 plus 1 y dash at 0 minus y at 0 equals to 0 so we have to find out the value of y double dash at 0 is to find out the minimum and maxima because 0 is the critical point from the initial condition itself so y at 0 minus y dash at 0 y at 0 is 1 minus 0 that will be 1 which will be greater than 0 so the phi function attains its minima on 0 because y double dash at 0 is greater than 0 and 0 is the critical point so from initial condition also you can find out the solution itself like d is the correct answer as a b c are wrong answer so d is correct or you can say uh, we'll use the proper method for that like we will find out the critical points for this phi function and then we'll just finding out the deri uh, so double derivative value at critical points and then we'll be saying the option is correct or not okay so our y function is this okay in that case y dash of x will be equals to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 plus x y okay so for critical points we know that, that y dash of x equals to 0 okay so in that case 1 plus x square will be convert this form and then 1 plus x equals to plus minus 1 that will be equals to x equals to 0 and minus 2 okay so here 0 minus 2 will be the critical point and now we'll find out the double derivative of the function and that will be equals to 0 minus 1 by 2 minus 2 1 plus x whole cube that will be equals to 1 over 1 plus x whole cube okay now y double dash at 0 because in the d option at 0 we are asking so okay so that will be equals to 1 that will be greater than 0 so y attains its minimum on 0 
y attains its minimum from zero. So as we had that A, B, and C options are incorrect, so D option will be correct answer. Okay. So like in the exam, you can do it by the question itself, like from the initial conditions also. Like this will option will be discarded and uh, D option we can see directly from the you know, initial conditions that D option is the correct answer. Okay. So sometimes one or two options are discarded by the question itself if you read the question properly. Okay. So just make sure that you are doing the questions properly. So in that case, our D option will be correct answer. Thank you.